Hello friends and welcome back for another exciting episode here on the Backyard Russia channel. Um, as you can see, it's winter here and uh, for those of you who are members over on our Buy Me A Coffee page, you would know that I've been planning on starting to learn a new skill, uh, something to keep me busy during the uh, colder months. So let's go inside and I'll show you what it is. So I did a bit of thinking about what type of new skill I could learn uh, to keep me busy during the winter months. And I came up with leather craft because it's something that's interesting to me, but at the same time, it's a useful skill. So yeah, I'm really thrilled to be bringing you on this learning journey as I try and broaden my skill set. I actually have a project lined up for today. So let's get started. For this first project, I thought it'd be a good idea to make something that is useful. And as my wife doesn't have one of these passport covers, I figured we could make one of those first. Um, so I'm gonna be using this as the template. I'm gonna trace it out onto some card as a template. And then I have this leather here, which we will be making the passport cover out of. Um, if any of you guys would like to buy one of the pieces that we make here or order your own, um, you can send me an email, which you can find on our About Us um, section on our YouTube channel page, or I will have a link in the description down below. So let's get started. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to trace around my bit of card. Trace around on my bit of card, that is. And try and keep it in the same spot. Now, I don't have a steel ruler, so I'm just gonna have to use um, what I have. And hopefully I won't cut it. Actually, I'm not gonna use this one. Because if I cut that, that would be tragic. It's my uh, scale ruler that I use for drawing plans for houses and stuff. As you can see, on this side, it's just cover for some eggs. And it makes a really good template material. Okay, there is our first template which we will cut on that, on our leather, move that. All right, now I also need to get this uh, part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a piece of paper and I'm going to shade with the crown over the top and I'll see if that works for me. I have some grid paper here. And I'll just grab a crayon. And there we are. We have a nice outline for me to cut. So. So I'm just going to make two of these. So I'll cut the first one out and then that can be my template for the second one. And there we have it. So, this is the leather that we have. And 
and I got one, two. So there we are, we have enough on this side. This side here is actually for another project um, that I have coming up. And I've actually alluded to it over on our Buy Me A Coffee page. But I will have more updates coming here um, when I get my new parts for it. Okay, so. Get this little scratch all. I can't remember, I think this cost me 60 rubles which is pretty crazy. Um, it was certainly under a hundred, so less than two dollars. That's Australian dollars for this little tool here. It's pretty cool. Okay, now we're just gonna slick that down. It's called burnishing. One interesting thing that I found out when I went and bought this tool is that it is called the same thing in English as it is in Russian. And that is a slicker. Okay, they're ready now. Um, let's give this a little bit of the sand. Now obviously a set of calipers would be better because you don't have a lead on one side. I'm not gonna be drawing everywhere. But you gotta make do with what you've got, right? And this is what I've got. 
So hopefully you can see that I now have a line the whole way around. And now I'm just going to get a piece of leather to put down on here and I'm going to punch uh, my lines. punched all the way through and using the previous hole as a guide we will just punch all the way through turn two holes back to line up okay and I'm not going to do that one in the corner because when my stitch comes through here um, for this part, I don't want it interfering with that, so I'm just going to leave that. Alright, so we've got one needle on. Now, let's put the other one on. So, thread it through. Babe, I'm sewing. I'm a sewer. Okay, so I'm just going to, I've got my brush, brush here, I'm just going to put a bit of this glue in the thing and then I'm going to glue up and this is just so I don't glue too far inside. Put a little bit in here. Oh yeah, it's probably too much. And I over glued a little bit here, as you can see there, which is a bit of a shame. Okie dokie. Now again with these calipers, which aren't calipers. There we are, and we'll just mark this again.
and see how it looks. <coughs> Okay guys, well, I've uh, finally finished the passport cover. Thanks for your patience and uh, coming along for this journey. My wife really likes it, so that's the main thing. And uh, if you guys liked this kind of uh, video, and you wanna see more of this kind of leather work sort of thing, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if it's not really something that you're interested, don't forget to give us a thumbs down. That way we can kind of tell where you guys are at. Do you enjoy watching it? Would you like to see more? Would you not like to see more? Would you like to see something else? And uh, let us know what you thought of how this turned out down in the comments. We'd love to hear what your thoughts are. But yeah, this is uh, the first of many projects. The next one I'd like to do is a um, sunglasses case. The one I've got is actually broken and uh, so I'd like to make a new one. We're just waiting on a, um, a button for that because um, I didn't have any but yeah if you guys would like to see more um, of this kind of thing and would like to support the channel there's some links down in the description and also in the end card over here um, but yeah until next time take care and uh, bye bye